we're back. Welcome to day two of the 12 Planks of Christmas Challenge. I hope you warmed up. We don't want to start working out without a good warm up, especially as we get older. Now, what I want you to focus on in this particular series is to actively push away from the floor like we did yesterday. Keep those abdominal muscles contracted and your core engaged. Elbows in line with the shoulders on the plank tap and wrists in line with the shoulders on the plank jack. Remember to keep that head in a neutral position with no bend in the neck and squeeze those glutes, baby. Don't let your hips drop and keep that butt from popping up. Breathe, let's go. Move at your own pace. I like to move slowly and with intention and mindfulness. I think it's what's kept me injury free all these years. Issues with the knees? Plank on the wall or a sturdy chair or your sofa. Don't let those knees stop you. Let's go get some water and get ready for round two. Now, when I mentioned the core, the core is actually more than the abs. It's all the muscles that move, stabilize, and support your spine. Most often, uh, when you have low back pain, it can be attributed to weak abdominal muscles. So let's really focus on working these abdominal muscles so we can also strengthen our back. You got this. Keep going. Stay strong. Woo! Two down and one to go. If you like this video so far, share it. The more the merrier. And remember to tag me. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Your support means the world to me. If you feel your form start to break down, stay focused. You can do this. Move to the modification. Listen, there's no strain. There's no shame in our game. You just go to the modification until you get stronger. We got this. We got this. Keep going. Remember to stretch after this workout. You're going to feel it. This is really working those hips too. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! 